Have you ever saved a cat from being abandoned or killed? If you're an animal lover, you would do so, just like the boy in the following story. This was about 10 years ago. I'm the little guy to the far left. I'm six feet tall. Some tough guys threw a kitten on top of the school roof. The poor kitten was just crying. I saw this and glared at them without saying a word. They laughed at me and said, what are you going to do about it? Without saying a word, I went to the drain pipe and tested it for strength. My audience reacted with peals of laughter. The pipe was strong enough to hold me up, so up I went about 40 feet or so. I could hear the laughter continuing down below. I tried to beckon the kitten over to me, but it was just too scared to come. I sighed. I saw a gutter, but wasn't sure it could bear my weight. I tested it, and lo and behold, it was strong enough. I hanged onto it and worked my way over to the kitten. With one hand hanging onto the gutter, the other was free to scoop up the kitten. Now what are you going to do, big man? They yelled at me. I put the kitten behind my head on my shoulders. Thankfully it rode fine there, because that was the big flaw in my plan otherwise. When I got back to the drain pipe though, it was getting scared again. I grabbed it with one hand, knowing that it was probably going to fall off if I didn't. Okay, now the trick is to make it down the drain pipe with one hand. But I made it work, just by moving my single hand down as far as I could, then moving downwards with my feet while hanging on. By the time I got to the bottom, the laughter had stopped. I glared at them and just stood there. They were visibly frightened. I looked at them and said, You're such big men, doing this to a defenseless little kitten. I screamed the word kitten. Now, I'm a hillbilly to start with, so I'm loud by nature. I could call dairy cars from literally miles away and they'd come. The boys covered their ears and some teachers came out to see what the fuss was about. I explained the situation to them. I was going to carry the cat with me throughout the school day and take the kitten home to join the ranks of the farm cats. You can't do that, I was told. I can, I said. And I must. If I don't, they'll either kill the kitten or throw it up there again. The teachers just shrugged. I carried that cat the whole day. Every time I told the story, the names of the bullies who did this got around more. By the end of the day, they were literally covering their faces with shame. They weren't exactly high academic performers to begin with, but they apparently took a few days sick leave to recover from some illness. I told everyone that it was mental illness. They agreed and laughed. Oh, the poor little ginger kitten in the story became quite famous. Make no mistake, this story was unusual on many levels. The sheer cruelty of the boys and the fact that I was carrying a cat in school around the whole day. I intended to take her home, but she got herself adopted by another student before I left. She lived a happy life and was loved until the end of her days, nearly 20 years later. She won at the game of life. What do you think about this boy's actions? What a brave boy. I wonder how many can follow in his footsteps. If you enjoyed the story today, please like and comment below. Thank you for watching the video and supporting us. Goodbye and see you soon.